Yo, it's Mel from Rap Rankings. To hear the full episode this clip comes from and all the other episodes, stop by raprankings.com or search Rap Rankings on your favorite podcast platform. Track 6, Trilogy of Terror, produced by Marley Marl. Uh, cool uh, TV movie from the 70s, by the way. Trilogy well, of I was Terror. about to get into that. Um, yeah, because I wanted to know. Uh, but uh, there's a story about this rating. 6 plus. Oh my god, what are you doing, bro? Telling my truth. Uh, your truth, sometimes it's an inconvenient truth. Oh, brother, his truth stinks. <laughs> Some truth is false. Some truth are lies. True lies, you know? When the truth is found to be What a, lies. let me tell you, if there was ever a song that got overused as a musical cue, it's that one in movies and TV. <laughs> you guys can't yeah. use it anymore. It's, I can't use it anymore. It's, it just sounds like boomer nonsense to me now. <laughs> Like, get this out of your movie. Stop making movies about, like, Vietnam anyway. It's ridiculous. Over, Overdone. Uh, trilogy of Terror. This one. I do express my content for it, as I will relinquish my score of a 7 of the flat variety. <laughs> okay. Ding me. Infant. Oh, God. Um... <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Wait, what? The Soros Mules? Yeah, I guess so. Or like early 2010s meme mules when like, oh, the, like the joke was to just like use inflated right, language right. to it's say like, simple uh, things. Or it was like the Dutchmen and it was like uh, fornicate bitches acquire currency or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Why do I know that? Why do I know this style? Because we were all subjected to it, you know. I never participated uh, in that kind of shit. But yet it's like still stuck in my mind that that was a thing that they were doing. They were also like this is the th- not to get on my truly yours shit, but like there was a period where like girls were like putting mustaches on their fingers, like drawing mustaches on their fingers and like having mustache like necklaces where they put the mustache i'm like what are they doing with this the early meme economy while certain things i will always have a fondness for like you know the exhibit like yo i heard you like this so i put this so i put it this and you're this and you know that's just you know it's classic stuff uh some of the early macro images a lot of it though was uh cringe as it would now be known as you know what um, I really hope to never see again? What's that? It's like, it's like, ang- like, it's like dismissive Wonka or whatever. Oh. Where it's like, tell me more. I, yeah. Yeah. The, that was really the like, almost like the burgeoning of like, quote, tweet dunks, you know? Well, like, the, see, that was a part of the meme era where uh, you just put the impact font on you know a, a, an image and that was a meme i'm ge- i'm genuinely glad that that's over with yeah the impact font on the thing on the picture and it's like what what would you call that like meme 2.0 basically yeah because 1.0 would be like the mid 2000s like I the agree. very early, like prehistoric yes. memes, or like the rabbit with the pancake on its head, or something. You know, I, I believe some people refer like the first meme is like the dancing baby, right? Know? Exactly from Ally McBeal, right? Again, why the fuck do I know this bullshit? Because <laughs> we, we came up in it. <laughs> wow. Um. Uh. What was? It? How did we get on this uh, trilogy? Oh, of right, because you did the thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, listen, I'll be honest with you. My rating, this is the first time in the show's history where I may have been pressured into, like, I felt embarrassed to be listening to old rap. This is what happened. I was in my jalopy. And as you know, I got my AC fixed, but it broke again. So I had to we ride know, around you with the drive, you, you actually acquired a replica from 20th Century Fox of the original jalopy from the Grapes of Wrath. It hadn't been serviced since the 40s. So you've been doing a little <laughs> restoration on it and trying to keep it running. 
but it barely runs. This guy's radio came from the 99 cent store. <laughs> All right. He's got it with a bunch no. of freaking wires. Just it's a, it's a mess. It's a demo. No. It's a... <laughs> yeah. It's going to go to the freaking demolition dump or whatever it's called. Uh, it's a demo. All right. But, um, yeah, I was riding around with the windows down and I missed my turn. I'm like, crap. So I had to like turn into this car dealership. Um, I wish I would have been playing cars as it happened, but no, I was playing this trilogy of terror and you know, like the beat is kind of like whistly, like, I guess. Um, anyway, as I'm pulling in there, there were these, uh, two Caucasian women that got out of Would you say whistly or horny? Maybe horny, whistly, horny. Um, it reminded me of a terrible beat I made back in the day. I think I played it on the show called Wildlife Prairie Park. Uh, I rapped on that beat. Yeah, you did. We definitely played it then because I, played, I it. played it. We yeah, played but it. I don't want to play that again. It sucks. But yeah, so I pull in the lot and these two Caucasian women hop out of a car. I think they had just got done test driving it. You know, this I got this turned up all the way and they look at me because they hear like this antiquated music. And they see me, and I'm like sweating in like 90 degree weather. Playing and you're still, like this. you're you're obviously like a young man. Like maybe you don't look like a kid, but you're not old, right? Right, but I'm not old. Like if if, if I was old, they wouldn't care. But like I clearly like I got this like young boy haircut, and like you look, look like young. you're in your mid to late twenties, right? But like they're looking at me, and they're like my sweaty face playing like this. I'm sure they think like weirdo music. It's like, why is he playing? Like, this is not cool. It's objectively not cool. And it ruined the song for me. And and I just... It was... To be clear, I had already heard the album like three times prior to this. It was already a six plus, but I knew from that moment it was never going to get a seven because it, it made, made, you it feel made bad. me... It embarrassed me. It made me feel bad. <laughs> and... uh yeah, it's just it was embarrassing to me. Uh, the other I don't have many notes. The only other things is I called him simile boy because there's a lot of similes in this. Cut him like razors. I run rappers like races, stun him like phasers, um, explode like dynamite, uh, wax the vocal tracks all out like whistles. Uh, again, that these witches. Well, my rhymes are wicked like witches. I'm like, he loves rapping about witches. It's it's all um, to do with his Wizard of Oz obsession slash fetish. I'm, I'm guessing that's what it is. Uh, it just This whole plus. album is a Wizard of Oz concept album. When oh, he's right. Talking, like, the, uh, like the Pink Floyd album, right? Yeah. So what happened is, if you want to go back, and maybe we can provide a little bit of context here, truly yours, he's dissing the Wicked Witch of the West. And then... <laughs> Who's her man? The Wicked Witch. Uh, Oz, right? No, that's the, the Oz is good, bro. I thought he was a liar and a phony and a fraud and a swindler and a charlatan. Oh, is he? And I can't remember. Remember, yeah, he's like, happened? don't I don't pay no attention to the man behind the curtain, you know? Oh, right, right. All okay, that. so Oz is her man that he said all those horrible things about. Yeah, you know. Oz this is, is all uh, a concept album about the wiz- the Wizzo. The Wiz the Wizzo. Yeah, Oz is uh, you know. I'm a little tricky boy. That was his whole deal. But uh we we know about him, we know about the witch, and now we know about uh cool. It's been a while G-Rat. since I mean, not to not to get extremely dark, but uh the day I found out my mom passed away. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not going to get into the whole story, but when I received the news that she passed away, I was at my aunt and uncle's house and the Wizard of Oz was on TV. Yeah, you told me about that. You were like, and, and you know, so you have sort of this odd connection to it. Yeah, it's a weird it's a weird one for me, but uh, let's let's move on, folks. Oh, well, before we move on, I, my last thing I want to ask you. Um, so apparently this is the title of a 1975 horror movie. Yeah, it's on the shelf um, right now. Got oh, it is over it? Here. It's an anthology okay. horror movie. Oh, There's three anthology. trilogy of terror. So they made right. two of them. And I got to be honest with you. It's not a great movie, but it has a segment in it that is amazing. 
it's with these little like puppets, these little okay. dolls that come alive. Um, if you Google Trilogy of Terror dolls, you'll see them. That segment is incredible. Worth the price of admission alone. The other two segments, not so hot. Not bad, but kind of boring. If I didn't know any better, I would say it's one of those uh, dolls from the Tales from the Hood. I, I would say that that, that uh, segment in Tales from the Hood is probably somewhat influenced by this segment. This would fit right in. This looks like a racist caricature. So It, it, it looks somewhat uh, like Samoan, if you ask me. Yeah, perhaps. Perhaps. But, uh, but yeah, that way, was my question. After it's a classic it. segment. And I think so much so that they might have brought them back for the sequel, three other stories, but like they had to bring the dolls back because I think that's what people really gravitated towards. And it was a TV movie. It wasn't a theatrical film. It okay. was a made-for-TV movie. So, you know, the fact well, that it birthed a sort of iconic anthology segment is where, you know, it kind of endured throughout time. It got VHS release, DVD, Blu-ray. Um, and I own it literally just for that one segment alone. Now, I will levy a criticism towards this song. Okay. It should have been a little more terror. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. To me, this song, why I give it a flat seven is because I think Cool G Rap wraps his ass off on the song. The beat is fine, but he does the heavy lifting on here for me. My issue with the song is that you went as far as to name your song after a TV movie that had aired 14 years earlier, but you didn't make it a spooky record. I want a spooky you, record. <laughs> Folks, if you don't know by now, rappers, if you're listening, you got to be careful evoking horror or like carnivals or things like that around mules. Cause he'll hold you to it. You know, give it to don't, me. Don't, don't, don't yeah if you're gonna if you're gonna play with that it's like we were talking about the cardi song vamp anthem you know sampling the dun, 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 you know but lean he in. wasn't vamp enough you know you gotta lean, lean in baby it. right i want so. to suck your dick <laughs> <laughs> yeah <sighs> that's what lady wow. dracula told me when i went to her castle yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> yep. Well, I was playing was Resident funny. Evil that, Village. That was funny. <laughs> That's the only well, lady vampire I'd be seeing. Well, Good game. Uh, it's a nice return to the, the games of yesteryear that take like 10 to 12 hours to beat. Right. Remember when I was playing the, uh, what was it? The What was it? The epilogue? Of Red oh, Dead God. Redemption yeah, you were 2. Telling me that, yeah, the epilogue of like 20 parts. Dude, the epilogue of Red Dead Redemption 2 is as long as the theatrical cuts of all three Lord of the Rings movies. That's not an epilogue. This is a whole other spinoff. It's a whole other game. You're ruining it. <laughs> Look at my lips. You're ruining it. Rockstar, you're ruining it. This is what you like treated your developers like cattle for. A nine-hour epilogue. All that, that, that crunch for you to sit up here and, and, and for us to tell you. Oh, man. What? You're just ruining it. You're Look at my lips. You're ruining it. Ruining. <laughs> ruining. <laughs> ruining. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Hey, like that Rhiannon by Fleetwood Mac. Ruining. Oh, you know who did not ruin it, 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 it. it. <laughs> You know who didn't? Tell him, tell him. You know who didn't ruin it. That's a good beat. Oh, that. I think it's a good beat. Uh, she is the darkness. She oh, is on, the darkness. Reanimate. Re Listen, that's leaning oh. into the concept. That's how you do it, man. That is how you do it. Hold on. No, I would have. I would have liked on, a little more on. adherence to the concept here. Cool. Cool. That see, that's what I'm saying. We need to just start calling them cool. Um, hold on. They need to they need to hear this. 
They they need to hear just just this to is, hear this foot because I'm this saying this is that this is that Doctor Herbert West meets Fleetwood Mac meets the Hamilton Sound meets standing unhealthily over Rihanna. This is that cult music, folks. Here we go. Oh wait, I should tell you, I was only gonna play the beat because <laughs> I got the beat. My I'll point still beat. stands. Yeah, here we go. Yo, yo, Cool G rap and polo, you're so slow. Why did you not make this shit a little more horror like the horror show? American Horror Story, you just trying to bore me with your war stories. I want to hear about the carnival, I want to hear about the ghosts, I want to hear about the barnacles coming up from the ocean when my man the creature from the Black Lagoon emerged from it. You know what we doing, yeah we own it. We doing all this rap shit for fun, no we don't it. <laughs> Folks. There it is. That's uh, that's the Rhiannon flip, and that's the Mool's trilogy of terror freestyle. It's a creepy world. Welcome to my creepy world. Welcome to my creepy world. <laughs> yeah, Mool's that's how you trilogy. do it. Lean into it. You know, fuck it. Fuck you. Oh God. Oh man. You Let's move on. on. Let's move on. Yo, it's Mel from Rap Rankings. To hear the full episode this clip comes from and all the other episodes, stop by raprankings.com or search Rap Rankings on your favorite podcast platform.